members. Channel 4 Scott Johnson is joining us now live with the story. Scott? Tom, a big amount of convictions all at once centering on two areas, 103rd Street and 45th Street in Northwest Jacksonville. The Sheriff's Office and State Attorney's Office announcing they have just wrapped up convictions of around 20 known gang members. Many of these men going to prison for 10, 20, even 30 years. This is under something called the RICO Act, which is a federal, which is a, a legal act where they can round up a number number of gang members and prosecute them all at once, putting them in prison for a very long time. The Sheriff's Office, the State Attorney's Office, very happy to put away members of Operation 103rd Street and the 45th Street Gang, put them behind bars for a very long time, some for some very serious charges. They seized a lot of guns, and the Sheriff's Office is saying crime is down in this area of the west side, in this area of northwest Jacksonville as a result. So that's an almost 50% reduction in the homicide so far this year. And I'm convinced that a lot of that is because these 20 guys and others like them are not out there on the street. They are truly facing tough, aggressive prosecution. Now, a lot of these arrests happen around 2008, 2009, but the convictions just happened. They've been in court this long because they wanted to convict them all as members of a gang. Tonight at 10, we're going into these neighborhoods, 45th Street, 103rd Street, a big area on the west side, and we're finding out what the difference is. Is there noticeable difference? The Sheriff's Office and State Attorney's Office saying crime has dropped considerably in those areas. We go to investigate. That's new at 10. For now, live at the Sheriff's Office, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Scott, it's unusual for a sheriff, a police officer, to make an announcement of convictions. Obviously, police have been going about quietly arresting these suspects and then state attorney angela corey has been prosecuting them yeah. at trials did they plead guilty or were they brought before a jury charged tried and convicted it was a variety of things and this is a very difficult thing to do it's under something called the rico act tom and they have to have multiple trials many trials they said dozens and dozens of trials to make all these convictions stick. It was a very lengthy, drawn-out court battle, but that is what prosecutors have been working on vigorously for the last couple years to get these convictions to stick. Because when you have so many guys in the 103rd Street Gang, they had seven. In the 45th Street Gang, they had a dozen. They had to get all these trials all done under the same banner to make sure they could put these guys to j in prison under to the RICO Act, so it was just a lot of different trials. I think I heard uh, estimates of more than 100. Tom? Scott Johnson reporting to us live from downtown. Thank you, Scott. We'll continue to gather information on this breaking news, and we'll have an update as soon as we have new information. As you heard Scott say, we'll have more.